Yo, what's up? And what's going on, guys? It's your boy, Makaweb, back from video on channel. And today, I'm going to be covering all the good money-making methods that's currently being used in the game still. And this includes some of the best money-making methods for beginners as well as mid tier players. So for most of the money-making methods that I'll be talking about, I'm pretty sure that I already made a video on them. Except for a few. The first method... So yeah, the first method, of course, is... The magma farm, which is the current method that I'm using right now. This method is very simple. Basically, you make a farm for magma, and then you gather them in like a small area. And what you need to do is, there's two ways you can do this. It's either use a vampire mask, which I have here, to kill the mobs automatically. Or, you can use unstable set, which is right here. They both work the same way, and I'm pretty sure both of them are just as efficient. So as you can see, this is my weird design here. So we make like a little area here to put our FK farm, and then we FK inside and auto mobs around. This little FK pool will be damaged, and this is how our automatic farm works. And all you need to do is just FK and you make you millions overnight. My estimation is it still makes more than 2 million a day if you FK 24 hours a day. So this farm is still extremely OP even though after a small nerf, which is for a looting nerf. So if you need further information about this farm, I'm pretty sure I made a video about this before. You guys can go check it out and build yourself a magma farm today. Alright, so for a second method, of course, it's the clay method. Because people either use the magma method or the clay method. But both of them are for different situations. For the clay minion method, it makes you money offline. So it's for people who can't FK over overnight while for a magma farm it's for people who can fk overnight so that's why that the magma firm makes two to three times more money than what clay minion can make you a day but the clay minion you don't have to do anything just put down the stuff and then let it work overnight and just collect it once in a while and you get money from doing literally nothing and then for the next thing is same as clay method but for this method you just have to sell the snow on the auction house. And I did talk about this method a few videos ago, so it's very recent. And I explained about it and did some experiment on it. So for the snow method, it's actually better than clay method if you do it right. So I recommend you guys to go watch that video and you'll know how you can use snow minion to make money. Okay, so moving on to the next one, we have Tarantula method. Basically, at one point, Tarantula was one of the best money ping method in the game and now it still makes you decent amount of money and this is my old Tarantula farm. Oh my god. So what we were doing was we make a dropper for Tarantula and all you need to do is just AFK in a random place. You don't need unstable armor, you don't need anything. You just need to be able to AFK overnight. And then you need to set the dropper at a height where if the Tarantula fall, it will die instantly on a fall. And this method could be better than the Magma method if you do it right. If people actually buy it for higher price, then for sure it will make more money than the Magma method. But the Magma method has a fixed price because you sell it to the merchant, not to people. Well, for people, the price is not fixed. It depends on how much people bid. So in terms of reliability, I would choose Magma over Tarantula. But of course, this is still one of the good FK money making method that people use. For example, Libraner used this. Okay, so now moving on, this method is for beginners basically. Or you could do it too if you have a lot of time and you want easy profits from just doing something. Like you don't have to set up a farm or anything, so this is why this is for beginners. You do have to have a little bit of money in order to buy the stuff. So how it works is, for example here, Runabo. As you can see, Runabo requires two items in order to craft it. Enchanted bones and enchanted strings. You need three stacks of enchanted bones and three stacks of enchanted string. If you buy the raw materials from the merchant here, which is adventurer, you can craft a Runabo with just about 600k and then you can resell it on the market for a million. That's an example. It's what people was doing. I'm not sure about how much Runabos sell for now, but it's still around the price, I'm pretty sure. So there's plenty of items that you can do this method with. Not only the Runabo, you can also do this with Explosive Bow, for example, because you need gunpowder. And right now, I think Explosive Bow is one of the most popular bow to use to grind zealots. So that's why people want it and you pay millions for it. So you can just buy the gunpowder for cheap and then craft it and sell it on the auction house for easy cash, basically. Alright, so for next method is basically grinding summoning eyes. So the end has been out for literally 4 to 5 months already, but yet summoning eyes is still one of the best money making method in the game. Because summoning eyes sells for a lot still. They still sell for 500k each, which is a lot of money. If you're lucky enough, you'll be able to make millions in a short amount of time, which is very very good. But as you can see, that's the reason why that 
the end is always so crowded so it's very hard to grind because a lot of people are fighting for it but for zillits i did introduce a new zillits grinding method for you guys you can watch my videos and hopefully they'll speed up your process on your zillits grind so now that you have summoning ice you can either choose to use it to fight dragons or you could choose to sell it if you choose to use it then that's another one so you can actually make profits from doing dragon fights at least that's what rich people do like ice blade they do a lot of dragon fights and they make millions and millions of dollars from just doing this because they know how to do it so for dragon fights in order to make profits you require a lot of stuff first you need to make sure that you do enough damage to place in top three to maximize the chance of you getting good drops and since that now it's very competitive you need to actually be rich enough and have all the items that you require in order to get in top three because there's a lot of other dragon fighting technique that i still don't know because i don't do dragon fights anymore i'm sorry i'm outdated there but you can go take a look at those other youtubers video and learn about those new techniques but if you don't grind something eyes yourself you can also buy them from the auction house that's why people are selling them and people are actually buying them to do dragon fights because you can actually make profits from them but it's very luck based like i said so this method is not guaranteed that you make money back you might lose money so it's such a gamble i don't like it that's why i go with the magma method which is safe and still good at the same time so if i miss any of the money making methods that you're using let me know in the comment section because i might miss any since that i'm a human after all so at the beginning of the video i did mention that there will be a small surprise so if you watch until here congratulations so in this video, I'll be doing a very small giveaway, which is I'm going to be giving away 2 million in game money to 2 lucky persons. So each person is going to win 1 million each. I know this is a very small giveaway, but I plan to do this for a few times, so not only in this video, and the winner will be announced on next video. So to enter this giveaway, you just have to leave your IGN in the comment section, and also tell me your balance, and that's it. But if you want to be notified for my future giveaway as well, I would recommend you to subscribe, but it's not a requirement for the giveaway though. So yeah, anyways guys, thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you on my next video. Peace out, and have a nice day.